Hey everybody, um, welcome to my video guide on how to tank 8031 or any 80 stage using dual blades. So the most important thing here is our talents. They're going to make life much easier. In this case, I run 33232. Three, two. The reason why you sacrifices were made on double cross is that I can become, I can resist CC while I am doing damage to the boss. This is also applicable to blue stance VRMB, in which you'll see how I use it to stun the boss during multiple phases in order to increase my DPS. Now with this stated, let's continue on with the rest of the video. So as your burst starts, we get hit with the boss first attack, which is a yellow one. Luckily, this attack is blockable. So while we are doing or 4F a burst, we want to block this attack. Now this is the boss's second attack. It is a wide circle yellow AoE. This attack is also blockable. From this part on, the boss will do either one or two things. If your party did not did enough damage to them, which I believe is in around the 90% area, the boss will do a forward hit attack. In order to avoid this attack, you must SS before he starts it. If your team did enough damage, you will skip over this moveset and move over to the 3 clone mechanic. So at this point of the fight, we're going to do something that is very atypical. We will hit the boss. Now, since we have our talents set right, we will be able to resist the damage and CC the boss. This disrupts his room-wide AoE and helps our party clear the clone ad faster as they won't be CC'd and they do not have to iframe. Okay, so at this point, you want to get quickly to the 2 clone add um, phase. I try to get there as fast as I can. While I am on my blue stance, something that many people don't notice is that when the 2 clones spawn in, their CC bar is open. So I am going to do my V, and when it shows up, I'm going to instantly daze it. This is going to set back the animation, and the character and the clone will stay in place for a little bit longer, so I can DPS it. If you've seen my other video on how to tank the two clones, you'll be able to know exactly what to do here. I have made some changes on how I tank the two clones. If you haven't seen the video, I do recommend to check out my channel and find how to clear AD21 consistently as it shows your rotation while playing as pure DPS, no tank, as a dual blader. As I've stated, I've made some changes and I can squeeze a little bit more DPS out. I'll probably make a video of this specifically later on, but for now, let's concentrate on purely just tanking main boss maximum. Right, so now I want to take the time to show you another video clip of this full rotation, just so you can get a general idea of what it looks like. Now this is after the first part of the boss fight, jumping straight to the 3 clone mechanic. Enjoy!
that's how I clear AD31 and any AD stage as a tank consistently. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know over at the comment section. Bye bye!